This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Good evening. This is the June 6, 2023 meeting of the Community Relations Committee. Um, it's a hybrid, it's not a hybrid meeting, it's a remote meeting tonight because we couldn't get meeting space in um, 50 Payson Avenue. So it's set up mainly as a work session tonight, but if public shows, we will pause and allow public speak if it's, if it's a good time for it. Um, the we're all the only ones here, so I don't think we need to repeat the mission. But um, uh, well, in case somebody oh. wants to listen to the recording after, right, right, okay. So, the mission of the CRC is to promote positive relations in the city of East Hampton and help to make all residents and visitors with diverse beliefs and backgrounds to feel welcome here. So, we'll start with a roll call for the members of the CRC currently. Mary Ann Sara. Present. Rebecca Passa. Present. Jan Norman. Marla Solomon. Here. And myself, Emily Britton. Okay. So I have a few announcements. Um, one is that I am again in communications with um, the grant chair and secretary of the East Hampton Learning Foundation. And we are still discussing a training to us for city of East Hampton to navigate communication during and around polarizing topics. Um, and we, we have been in contact with a group um, that has that as their expertise and they've worked with communities, various communities about this topic. So um, I will, we will either have a separate meeting first and I'm open to inviting all of you to go or she will, will Jenny Papa George will come to one of our meetings. So we're still working on scheduling, um, but I wanted to let you know about that. Excuse me, is mm -hmm. this, will this be a meeting to plan a public? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. To so the meeting will be to plan a public mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. session on uh, conversation around polarizing topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A wonderful idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and then let's see. I don't believe I have another announcement. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have an announcement to make? I'm kind of trying to think if there was something that we should bring up as an announcement, but I am not remembering. Mm -hmm. um, but you may have all received a notice saying I've shared a folder with the committee members and this was in order to share materials. We discussed this last time. So there are some materials there provided us by Derek Dean mm -hmm. of the Community Relations Service Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. There are some supporting materials and I put left them in a main folder because Blueprint East Hampton is mm -hmm. something I feel like the mayor worked on with the uh, third eye mm -hmm. group, uh, which was Dr. Campbell, I believe. There's mm -hmm. also a copy of the mayor's pledge work group report. And that was a group the mayor called together to, you know, consider um, some data and information about policing mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, so there are some materials there. I thought this is a good folder to put the so-called parking lot document in. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that Marla had shared some materials. I appreciate that. That's great, Marla. Um, mm -hmm. There's a folder there that she shared. So 
mm -hmm. of, of some information. Um, now I'm forgetting what it is, but it was valuable. Like neighborhood gatherings, just right. yeah. together about that. For us to talk about tonight, hopefully, yeah. Right, so that's great to have that there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me also say that I thought I would go and translate the online survey responses, our co current community survey, mm -hmm. to put that in an Excel doc just to put there so it's there. Mm -hmm. so that you can look at that. Okay. You know. Translate it into what? Well, into a spreadsheet. And that means the questions are in these little boxes all along the top. And then the people's mm -hmm. answers are below that. Mm -hmm. I think I already have that, Rebecca, from the compiling I did before, if you want me to send that to you. Or put that in the, put that in the folder. You might have a more complete document because there were written responses right so i think what i don't if i've got the written ones i don't know where i put them let's say that so you might have something more complete marla i saw a document that had both graphs and written well that we that was probably the summary right the powerpoint mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. there's an actual spreadsheet that those where it came from but yeah we have a google forms it looks nicer than a spreadsheet so right. we have that but what i was thinking is that you might have compiled that with the written responses as well mm -hmm. i think somebody put them into the electronic form because um i know that i and I, I recognized my answers and i had filled mine out um by hand like the at the Winterfest or wherever it was before I joined the committee, and um, they were in there when I went in there. So somebody must have put them in. I don't know. Well, okay, well that could be good. So for yeah. purpose of having it all there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. So next on the agenda, public speak, then approval of minutes. So Rebecca. Okay. So, an, so another thing I thought would be convenient is to put a folder there. I have, we've we've made a couple of revisions to minutes that were from April of last year. Mm -hmm. um, so we still need to make a final, either revise it or finally approve it. And there were some that I had sent out from July and I've newly proposed August, but I thought what I would do is put them in a folder there too that's called proposed minutes. Mm -hmm. That right. way that's there accessible to you mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, you may or may not feel prepared to vote on them, but at least they're there and then we will, and there's more to come, believe me, there's more to come. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have, we'll be able to have a look and, and mm -hmm. get them approved and get them posted to the city site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so spoiled by multiple windows <laughs> at work, multiple. So we need to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Oh, we well, have I'm not done with those. I offered to do them and I'm almost done, but not quite. So um, I don't have those for you, unfortunately. I really wanted to, but I lost my steam. So, so I, I can relate to that. So let me yeah. say, let me say, Mary, at some point when we were not having a quorum, um, of course probably trying to get out of doing things i at first thought oh well then i won't need to prepare minutes but then i thought better of it but the short of it is is that i've got behind on them yeah i was um, referring, i had understood that i was mm -hmm. uh, referring to the minutes from may i guess it is mm -hmm. may 23rd right mm -hmm. which is what you were mm -hmm. on emily right um yeah I mean, probably, probably it's a good idea if we can now catch up meeting to meeting. Right. Oh, totally it is. And uh, so at some point I'm going to put more in there. 
Mm -hmm. I, and I realize there will be meetings from long ago that you may not have attended or that you don't remember. Mm -hmm. But um, it would be good if we can have something that we can approve to get us up to date and make the city happy because mm -hmm. at some point it's out of compliance. So well, my I'm apologies. Confused. Yeah. You take the minutes, Rebecca, but then Emily, what is it that you haven't finished from the May meeting? I, I'm I'm writing the minutes from May from I Scott. thought Rebecca took minutes. She does normally, but um I don't know if you had wanted to give me anything, Rebecca, when I offered to do it, but um I didn't I just started writing them myself. I'm reviewing the tape. <laughs> right. Well, and I often do that too. Yeah. So at some point during this month, Emily wrote me very kindly mm -hmm. and offered to do the minutes if I hadn't gotten far along, which I had not. So mm -hmm. I thought, great, but it is normally mm -hmm. me. And uh, again, mm -hmm. and I might, I might in a mm -hmm. stupid way, uh want to catch up from back to front you know so that i thought that was great that emily didn't mm -hmm. mind helping me that way i thought that was wonderful um so, so rebecca being the lawyer you can remind me like i can send out minutes and even a transcription that i've written to all of you we just can't approve them until we're in an open meeting meeting is that true we can't deliberate and right. we can't approve and we can't vote and do all that behind the scenes. But I can send them to all of you to look at so you can get it. Yeah, I mean, you could put in, in the folder there like I have, and um, I've tried to share it with all of you in, in like the editor fashion so that you can put things there, which Marla did, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, so that's that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just idea is that going forward, even if we can't have the most comprehensive minutes, mm -hmm. that it's important for us and for the public mm -hmm. to have and approve mm -hmm. even skeleton minutes mm -hmm. each meeting for the meeting previous. Mm -hmm. I think that's just a good practice. And if they have to be skeleton minutes, then the skeleton mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. And and I know that you're worried about what came before we ever had a quorum, but now we do have a quorum, and I think mm -hmm. then it's it's important for us to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. keep up to date and not get further behind. Right. And I, I think the solution may be skeleton minutes rather than trying to do the most complete and comprehensive job because everybody can always listen to the tape. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I agree with that, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree too. I think I only had two weeks here and um, I've been a little busy. I haven't been able to do it, but mm -hmm. yeah. Normally we have a few more weeks, but um, yeah. So then next meeting, mm -hmm. let's plan to review mm -hmm. two weeks of minutes, May mm -hmm. and June. Mm -hmm. And let's just say, mm -hmm. we are very grateful for whatever skeleton of minutes you can mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. All right, so Rebecca, can you do the minutes for tonight? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I had given you my final comments about last April's, but did Marla read them yet? Uh, the ones that were edited, these up here? From 2022, yeah. Uh, do you want to approve them tonight? Because I could just review them now. I think we should, if possible. Opening them as we speak. Yeah. Well, let me say, I think that when um, I revised them last, I emailed back to you, Emily saying, yeah. okay, I've put these in and here's why I didn't put revision A or B in there. Mm -hmm. So right. if you read that email and if that's I good did. with you, I did. Then, then that's good with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was I there, was meaning. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, you were. That was my first meeting. Is this April yeah. this year? This yeah, this is when uh, Marla, I mean Myra, Myra presented. Mm -hmm. So you, that might be memorable to you. Right. Now I remember. And I yeah, remember. and I think you helped with your laptop because we couldn't even find the recording, um, Bob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
but we managed to record it. Are you talking about April of 2022? Yes. Indeed. And we need to take that up now? It, it would be very good to do that, to get that approved and done. It's way overdue. Or we could ask Marla to read it later, and then we can approve it next month. No, let's do it now. <laughs> I mean, I, I partly, you know, I'm, I'm going to go on trust here because I believe that, you know, you recorded it accurately and appropriately. And I know it's been under review and uh, I may have already looked at the revised version. I just don't remember. So just give me a second and we can go ahead and approve at least this one. While she looks for that, I'm thinking that I actually would like to make a motion that we present and approve meetings, the previous month's meetings, uh, minutes, mm -hmm. each meeting, as a matter of protocol and governance. Mm -hmm. Can I make that proposal? Mm -hmm. I would second it, except I think it's not really necessary. I mean, we just got in a kind of a pickle situation because of the quorum mm -hmm. thing, and so. I know, but but now again, we're going to be a month behind. So I think if we make a formal commitment to it, it might be easier. Mm -hmm. Maybe like. Mm -hmm. And and then that would also encourage people to not worry about, so much about the details, but just get something on the right. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you look fine to me. So I would go to a group. Uh -huh. So is that a second? I want to quickly ask, Mary, have you heard um, complaints about our minutes not being up there? Just from me right now. Okay. Okay. And it's not that they're up there. I think it's just, you know, it's, I mean, we're asking the public to trust us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think as a matter of trust, mm -hmm. we need to live up to that commitment. Mm -hmm. And even if we do it badly, even if we do it in skeleton form, it at least shows that we, we are... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, keeping keeping the faith, mm -hmm. keeping trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm, okay. prepared, I'm prepared to vote on these minutes. Sorry, okay. but to get back to Mary's proposal. Or do you want to do Mary's proposal first and then we go back to approving minutes? No, let's approve the minutes from April 2022. So I... I approve them. Well, do you want it, somebody to make a motion to yes, approve please. the minutes? Well, please. how do we approve them if we haven't seen them? Can you at least share, screen share them? They're in that folder. We yeah. Oh, you, you, you can't. I mean, you don't. You can't vote, Mary, necessarily. Unless you can vote if you want, but you weren't there. So, but three well, I think four. if you have a quorum, I have to vote. You 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 can vote and you can abstain if since you weren't there, or you can vote in every any way you're comfortable voting. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can vote yes, no, or abstain. You've got three choices. Um, Do you see them, Mary, in the proposed minutes folder? Uh, well, I'm looking for your email where you sent them. Well, that doesn't exist unless I do it right now, because what I did is, well, actually, April. I sent them, but I might have sent them before Mary was a member. I don't even remember. So. But here's a folder. You but said there's a folder. folder. Yeah, there's, there's a, a folder. folder, right. There's the Google Drive folder that I shared, yeah. Minutes needing approval. That's right, it. right, right. 427. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'll speed read. Okay, thank you. Are you going to want to approve these other ones tonight too? If, if, if you feel ready. Well, it depends how long they are. <laughs> right, right. Short, then. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've, I've actually seen these before. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm fine. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I believe I had reviewed the the July one and the August one already. Um, mm -hmm. Well, uh, actually, it's the August that we're, we're, we're new, and oh, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know, Emily, if you remember, but Emily, you actually volunteered to do a draft August of 2022. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is just, I've revised it to put it in the format and to kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. follow mm -hmm. the agenda as much as I could, but also note we didn't have a quorum, mm -hmm. but um, those aren't very long, so. Right, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly motion to approve those other two months as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure that a chair can make a motion, but oh, okay, okay. I need to approve. We're doing them one by one. Let's do them one by one. Okay, I approved. I, mo I make a motion to approve the minutes for April 27, 2022. Second. Great. Now we can vote. Okay, so um, vote after I state your name. Mary Ansara? Yes. Rebecca Passa? Yes. Jan Norman? Marla Solomon? Approve. And I, Emily Britton, approve. Okay. Now for votes, Jan's not here so that he don't have to name him. Okay, thank you. For roll call, you do, but for vote, okay. you do. Okay, thanks. Okay. So, so, will someone make a motion to approve the next patch? I move a motion to uh, approve the July 27, 2022 minutes. Second. Great. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to say first? <laughs> You can say Mary, oh, and favor. she'll say yes or no. Okay, okay, okay. Mary Ansara. Yes. Rebecca Passa. Yes. Marla Solomon. Yes. And Emily Britton, myself, I approve the minutes of July 27, 2022. So I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of April 20, of August 24th, 2022. Great. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Okay, let's vote. Mary Ansara? Yes. Rebecca Paza? Yes. Marla Solomon? Yes. And myself, Emily Britton, I approve. Okay. So now I make a motion that we um, present minutes from the pre previous months, each month, mm -hmm. and vote them. And mm -hmm. um, going forward, that that be our practice. Mm -hmm. A second. Right. So I would just like to state, like, barring crises, like, what if there's a personal crisis in Rebecca's life and she can't finish them, and we've only had two weeks or something between meetings? Mm -hmm. um, I understand yeah. that that's the the ideal, but well, I would say that we have uh, four weeks between meetings, and that. Mm -hmm. um, among the other three of us, we ought to be mm -hmm. able to somehow pick up the pieces mm -hmm. because she will have taken the notes. So then mm -hmm. we can look at the notes and if we have questions. Mm -hmm. But as I said before, I think even skeleton notes mm -hmm. are better okay. than no notes. Okay. Minutes. Okay. So maybe we can say the CRC secretary will complete the minutes, even skeleton. And if unable to, she will ask the committee to step up and provide them instead. Right. How's that? How's that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's vote on that. Uh, Mary Ann Sarah. Yes. Rebecca Paza. Um. So Mary made the motion, mm -hmm. and then did we have a second? Oh, I think I seconded it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. So yes, Rebecca's vote is yes. Okay, Marla Solomon? Yes. And Emily Britton, yes. I would say that minutes do not need to be a burden. I mean, the, fortunately, we have a tape of everything. Mm -hmm. So that the only thing we need is a written record that reflects mm -hmm. 
what we did and and if there are gaps or holes then there are the tapes and if there are objections from the public we can refer them from the tape and then we can always correct minutes but it shouldn't be a terrible burden on somebody mm -hmm. right yeah right or and that's somebody being rebecca mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know they used to be up to date we we actually had quite a number of meetings in uh, from 2019 2020 whatever they were up to date but um but uh, i look forward to getting them all in there i it's great that you approved what we've got so mm -hmm. i now intend to remove the approved ones from the folder and put new ones in there mm -hmm. right. well i i mean the other thing is 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 as I understand what I'm coming into, it is a almost a year of great difficulty for the committee. Mm -hmm. and I think that there should be some slack. And again, mm -hmm. you know, if if people need something in writing, mm -hmm. fine. But there also is the there also are the tapes, mm -hmm. right? You know, right. and we're still very small, and it's still you know a lot for Rebecca to take on. Mm -hmm. And we should both give you slack, Rebecca, but also live up to our commitment to have something on the record. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is there's also a law. And um, in a way, because of the lack of quorum, that may give us some slack on the law too. But ultimately, we need, I forget all the time frames, but we there is a deadline by which the open meeting law requires minutes. And that has to do with, um, you know, meeting with a quorum and mm -hmm. whichever is sooner, mm -hmm. getting them posted. Um, I, I can, I mean, if you care, I'll look it up. But there's a law that requires the minutes too. So in mm -hmm. that sense, voting on it in that sense Mm -hmm. could be helpful but but there's a law too so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so yes now we have a quorum so now those deadlines will be mm -hmm. important but i think the law gives like so emily i think the law will give you um the the next meeting after so you're still mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> he's always okay right yeah yeah we'll be all right yeah okay but but anyway that's progress we've got some more yep. to get posted so that's wonderful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right okay can i just go back for one second mm -hmm. to the thing i said before i'm going to correct myself that um the online responses the excel spreadsheet mm -hmm. on that. um i see that you put that up here I, I i thought you were going to have to look for it and put it up here but i see it's already there and I think that's as complete as the one that I had, Rebecca. So I think okay. what we have here is up to date for mm -hmm. what I Yes. Have. Yes. So I, I did mean to say I had already put it there. So Got it. I might probably misunderstood you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next on the agenda is the review of committee parking lot ideas of possible next events and our outreach to consider. Um, I, I wanted to have our ordinance up in front of us, like to look at while Rebecca reads off what's in the parking lot. But Mary, Mary. Would it be possible for us to reverse the order and discuss cultural, cultural chaos first yes. before we go to the parking lot? Because I, I feel like that's kind of hanging over us and we should figure out what we're doing. We can, but I also thought it might be important to look at the parking lot ideas to see the relative value of those along with cultural chaos. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I think it's decide about right. the chaos, whether it's that yeah. important. And, yeah. have, and have the ordinance up in front of us too. So we can think about what all of those parking lot ideas meet in terms of the ordinance. So, um, so let's so see. I have, I have an ordinance, I can share it, or, and then Rebecca could read what's in the parking lot, or I wish we could 
I wish we could share it and still see each other's faces. Can we do that? Well, everybody has it in the folder, right? So they could open it up on their own. Mm -hmm. But if we share it, won't we see each other on the side? Well, you want to try it? Let's see. Um, and I have a copy of the ordinance in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. I have it here too. Okay. But if you share. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should share the parking lot document and then we all have the ordinance on our own to look at. Okay. And then. All right. So let's, let's see. Let me present this let's i have that on a window and i think that i'm going to need to make it bigger mm -hmm. so the question is do you, do you see that now no you definitely have to make it bigger for me but you actually yes. see the document yeah uh -huh. yeah can we make our windows smaller oh, there. There you go. Oh, perfect that's good. Okay. Yeah, I actually see if I do that. Maybe I, I have to juggle around a little bit to see your faces, but there mm -hmm. you. That might work. Do you see the document? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the document in four faces. Good. Well, I've now positioned it so that I can do the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a parking lot that we had come up with mm -hmm. quite some time ago so mm -hmm. we have things on here that could well be outdated and mm -hmm. and whatever they are but here they are mm -hmm. so uh so um i'll just for the sake of our listening public i'll just go ahead and read through mm -hmm. so number one we have as an idea distribution of paper copies of our survey by placing them with local businesses mm -hmm. Number two, meeting for coffee with the CRC members. Do you mind comments a, a bit? I mean, this is kind of to help us know each other and work together better. Okay. I, I thought that was, I thought it was like an invitation to the public to meet with us if needed. No? Well, I might, I, this might mean two different things to me. Right. I don't know. Right. I don't know which one it means, honestly. Mm -hmm. No idea. It's too I, took it, I, I thought about it and I took it to mean, you know, uh, you know, like coffee with the mayor sort of thing. Coffee mm -hmm. with the CRC mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there have been discussions to some extent in our training of our, our knowing each other better as well. Right. But to be together and not discuss business. We had one Zoom together. Do you remember, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. Um, idea number three has to do with special days. I happen to put International Women's Day, mm -hmm. but you know, there's international. I mean, there's um, there's you know, like an Indigenous People's Heritage Day and and um, Asian and Pacific Islanders Day and other special days. So that's number right. three. Right. So that doesn't like indicate what we were going to do about it. But um, I mean, I think we could. Um, Right, press releases that the mayor could send out to her list, or we could do a poster like we were talking about for Juneteenth on the other committee. Yeah. Um, or we can decide to do a film to honor a special day or month like we did in February for Black History Month, Black History right. year. year. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, number four, purchasing books for group discussion group dialogue library is a conduit mm -hmm. you know yeah. you know um in that one mm -hmm. that seems to be a good idea to have a say i mean so for instance when the 1619 project came out mm -hmm. i organized with the library a discussion group where we read through it Oh, and, discussed it. and then that discussion group actually went on long after I left. It went on for, for quite a while. Uh -huh. So it would seem that it would be simple to talk to the library. I mean, and this sort of goes along with difficult conversations uh -huh. to uh, so that we could do a um, uh -huh. some sort of a reading group uh -huh. after yeah. some topics that we thought. And uh, 
we would talk to the um, Stephanie Levine, who's in charge of programming, and then they would make the books available. Mm -hmm. And similarly, if people wanted to purchase the books, Broadside Books in Northampton gives a discount for any reading group. Mm -hmm. Oh great! So probably through CW Mars, we could get as many copies as we needed, and then if people wanted to purchase them, there would be that, and then we would have a nice discussion. Mm -hmm. Right, Marla, do you want to share what you know? You um yeah, just to um mm -hmm. you know enhance the the information about this. I mean that we did have some conversation. I think was gosh, I can't remember when mm -hmm. uh, last year sometime about um. Mm -hmm you know, kind of pursuing this and getting some kind of a reading group going and um, mm -hmm. um, with another member of the community, um, I had started to pursue it a bit and then they, mm -hmm. you know, kind of do a community read. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, mm -hmm. So they were interested, although at the time they wanted to do it kind of region wide as opposed to just East Hampton, because they I guess they were planning something with some other, mm -hmm. you know, libraries in the area. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, we we didn't take it further than that because we just couldn't make decisions because we didn't have a quorum. But mm -hmm. but yeah, there's I think there's a lot of interest in this and a lot of different ways that we could go about doing it. And didn't you also the idea of a community read where where you would we would just sort of make it a happening for the city? Yeah, I mean the question always is you know we're getting probably too much in the weeds, but um you know how do you just not get the the usual suspects to mm -hmm. participate? You know, and you really. Mm -hmm. get a lot of people across different swaths of East mm -hmm. and to, to do it. So choosing the book and all of that mm -hmm. kind of thing is important. Mm -hmm. We might want to have it not just at the library, but for instance, we could do it one week at the Treehouse Community Room, another week at the Community Center. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we could figure out ways to do that. So mm -hmm. if usual suspects turned up, so might also some other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, didn't you also get a little bit of information about the local bookstore on Cottage Street? I know there's several books oh, yeah. in town, but now. Yeah, they seem to be interested in, you know, supporting it. Um, we didn't get too much further in the conversation with them about it, but yeah, I think they're very interested. The owners of that bookstore are really pretty mm -hmm. engaged in the community. As right. Well. right, right. Yeah. Okay. That Good. sounds nice, and they're right on Cottage Street. Mm -hmm. Right. So have have one of the, the uh, get-togethers be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to have. Uh, I mean, I I don't purchase books anymore. I can't mm -hmm. afford to. Mm -hmm. So a library would be great. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. library books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but I think it would be great to hold it in different places, you know, mm -hmm. so that we could bring in more people. Mm -hmm. Right. And then end with a big party at the Marigold. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. They'll right. come out for the party. Yeah. Uh, okay, so may I continue? So number five, right. small banners for the promotion of diversity. Mm -hmm. There's a paragraph, other, I don't know who other is, but notable P East Hampton people in history. Mm -hmm. um, number six, film Can viewing. Can I stop one minute there? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. What you'd like to do? In that regard, there is a woman at uh, Number One Cottage who has, she paints portraits mm -hmm. of interesting people. Mm -hmm. And and it may be that there's somebody locally that we could enlist to help with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, plenty of people in town actually could paint a portrait. Um, but I think, wasn't that the idea of um, putting them on the banners that hang on the light poles and it not just be military members? Yeah, mm -hmm. that, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. Right. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number six, film viewings. This was put on well before mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the the efforts for mm -hmm. for February and also that Mary you just attended again. Mm -hmm. So that's on there. Number seven, gathering of and and, mm -hmm. and I'll interject that Chris Fair and I are actually planning the idea of a monthly mm -hmm. film showing at East Hampton Media that would be both on 
live and on media, and maybe we could plug into that mm -hmm. with with films of our choosing. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if the gathering of neighbors, yeah, we have gatherings of neighbors uh, referred to at number seven and number 12, actually. So I think seven is about signage and 12 is about dates. Hmm. But I feel that those are related. Hmm. And, right. and this was, you know, I mean, as we were talking about it, it was, you know, like Jan Norman hosting the barbecue, right? Hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. And I think Emily, you looked into the how much of a hassle it may be to block off a street, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right. But anyway, those are on there. Mm -hmm. um, Could we yeah. ask the city councilors to help with that? Yeah, I mean, I know last last meeting we talked about whether it could be in, you know, when it's in the neighborhood of one of the councilors that they would be invited, you know, for oh, sure. Maybe they could host it. Uh, maybe they could host it jointly with us. Mm -hmm. It right. could be a get to know your neighbors mm -hmm. cookout. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. We'll get into this more later, I guess, yeah. if you're going to get yeah. to the topic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. If you want me to continue, number eight was the inquiry regarding Massachusetts state flag and seal. Now, they did come and see us. There's a group that is promoting that. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think their work is done. I do think that the question of the state flag and seal has made progress and has been in Massachusetts State Committee. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we did, uh, in terms of the word inquiry, we did hear from them. Mm -hmm. so, um, so should we take that off of this list? Because I don't know what we could do next. Or, or do you think that we should try to help out in some way. I don't know what the next well, step is. just a parking lot of things that we might do. So nothing needs to come off mm -hmm. because okay. we haven't decided yet that we're going to do any of it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Specifically. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we could either okay. take it off later or think about, you know, if mm -hmm. we even look into the status, whether there's something to be done. Okay. Um, and so we'd had an inquiry of the chair of East Hampton Commission on disability about co-chairs meeting. Mm -hmm. um, do you mind, Emily? I think I emailed you, but when mm -hmm. they send emails and they include mm -hmm. the CRC email address, do they include you? Have you had correspondence about I mean, I have, Yeah, I mean, I attended a meeting like two months ago and I and I always get emails from Eli and Angelique, but I don't, I don't know if they're getting to me through CRC secretary. I, I don't know. So but CRC- list, yeah. Well, so what I wonder is if you got a recent doodle poll from them on meeting again. Mm -hmm. I did. I oh, did. good. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. So anyway, so um, so that's just something that the the East Hampton Commission on Disability is spearheading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I mean mm -hmm. I don't know if that needs to stay on there or maybe you can report. I actually attended one of their right meetings, I but. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think that should be taken off just because, yeah. Because it's what they're doing, it's not what yeah. we're doing. Because we meet fairly frequently, or the offer goes out there frequently. So, yeah. 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 I would delete it. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. It's fine. With, I think you should delete it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's delete that. Okay. My numbers are wrong, but I'll fix them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see. Follow up. Regarding budget discussion with East Hampton Auditor Hetal Patel, was that about? I think that was about our budget. I think we've learned mm -hmm. a lot since then, right? Yeah, I think that could come off also. I mean, we have this budget that it does not change at the turn of the year or the turn of the fiscal year. You know, we were given ten thousand dollars. We've only spent nine hundred or a thousand. So. Um, we are, we don't need that on here either anymore. Okay. And I might say that at some point, the CRC may need its own independent budget. But at that point, we will need to talk to each other and plan that and present to Kit City Council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because our current money is through an allocation from the mayor, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. Number 11 is a video project to introduce city committees. Remember mm -hmm. that, Emily? Yes. Um, and I met with Jeff Mastriano from East Hampton Media, and I sent him a script, and we we're going to do it. Um, but I'm busy, and we never did recruit more people to help out. Um, but in the meantime, I know Brad Riley wants that to happen. And so he's been pursuing it in some way with East Hampton Media. So I sent him the script that I had written. So I don't think it's solely on our plate. Um, I think there's several people planning to work on that. Oh, great. But I, but I haven't heard lately. So that sounds great if there mm -hmm. are several people. Great. Mm -hmm. So I've mentioned number t what what is now number ten. That's the mm -hmm. neighborhood, and number eleven is also related to number three. Mm -hmm. you know, press releases or special days. Mm -hmm. So now we might want to put as number one things to make sure to not, uh, or things to make sure to include on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Like so, the agenda has we can talk about. Derek Dean and trainings, but it might be that we didn't have the most artful agenda item about discussing our ordinance or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or maybe a, a, a more flexible agenda item to discuss, you know, what steps we want to take. Mm -hmm. Does that I'm make sense? I'm not sure what you're referring to right now. What okay. are you talking about? Making action items out of these parking lot things? Well, I'm I'm thinking that this parking lot is also something that could be referred to when, like, say, for example, when I'm proposing agendas, so that I'd be sure to not miss something. So I think, Marla, you had a concern that there wasn't an apt agenda item mm -hmm. to talk about um, maybe review of our ordinance, for example. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean? Review of our ordinance? Well, that, that's a. I'm lost. I'm not sure what our overall topic is right now. But if we're talking about like committee direction, um, mm -hmm. by like looking at this vis-a-vis -vis our ordinance, mm -hmm. then I think you know my um, my message was about. I was just surprised given what mm -hmm. we talked about with the city council last time. Mm -hmm. Our main topic for today was not. How are we going to determine, as you know, Mary was referring to, you know, big picture, how we're going to do this work? And um, because, uh, you know, by to me, by kind of pulling from the parking lot and, you know, doing the specific things that we already have on our agenda that we are, have been sort of trying to pursue a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's we i feel like we still don't have like really like an operational mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know guidelines for the mm -hmm. community relations committee and if we all quit today the next people would not know what to do just mm -hmm. like we haven't known what to do this last mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. so right I'm surprised that we weren't going to like start mm -hmm. back there right and, and i and i think um, the other thing was, yeah, I mean, the other thing that actually occurred to me after I sent that email was more about like the recruitment initiative for more members and which we still sorely need. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we didn't really talk to the city council about that. So we got to come mm -hmm. back to that with them as well. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another topic. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I was trying to express. I was it okay. feels like there's more fundamental kind of mm -hmm. right. what are we doing here, right? You know, building up the bones mm -hmm. that needs to happen mm -hmm. that wasn't on the agenda. So I was just surprised. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and well, I really ag agree with you, Marla, because mm -hmm. I think these are all great ideas, and it's mm -hmm. easy, including for me, to say, "Oh, let's do this and let's do that." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think you're absolutely right that we need to set the superstructure mm -hmm. of what we're doing mm -hmm. and then fit these into them because mm -hmm. then we also know that we're going to be looking at these as opportunities to recruit new people as well. 
mm -hmm. as we'll be recruiting that we'll be using these activities as mm -hmm. a way to fit them into what our superstructure is of what mm -hmm. we want to do as a commission. Mm -hmm. Is that also what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I think you're right. And that this is step number two. Mm -hmm. And step number one is setting the superstructure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because I also don't think that we could recruit people mm -hmm. until they know what they're, I mean, Mm -hmm. I've been recruited and I have no idea what I'm recruited into mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. and, and it disturbs me mm -hmm. um, so and and reading the ordinance doesn't help because that just says what the ordinance is so I, I think you're right we need to set that superstructure and I think we need help to do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I don't know other than I mean there might be somebody other than Derek Dean but I'm so impressed with him Mm -hmm. as being an initiator of this that I just think it would be ideal to meet with him mm -hmm. and to ask him to help us set the superstructure and then all the activities and the recruitment will follow from that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I at least have Derek Dean and other, mm -hmm. other things related to him on number 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it may be that... Um, you know, we've just gone through the parking lot. We may want to address this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the parking lot mm -hmm. or later, but this is what it is. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. No, even, you know, if you're referring to number 11 on the agenda, mm -hmm. I don't know how we would have a dialogue on race mm -hmm. or even the uh, addressing difficult questions. Now that Marla is really anchoring me again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marla. <laughs> unless we have that superstructure mm -hmm. in place because mm -hmm. it'll just we'll just be doing actions mm -hmm. and activities we won't be building anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well i like the materials that derek mm -hmm. dean provided especially the kind of questionnaire section where it has us consider you know um what 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 population do we want to reach what are our goals you know kind of the the whys and who's going to be the facilitators and how are they going to get trained and um and it seemed like there was some idea of of trying to do this and including people in the school and including people so they would be part of the people reviewing the questions Right. On, Which questions? On how, questions of what? Questions. I'm sorry. Questions on on how the dialogue on race is set up. So that's part of one of the documents. I don't have it in front of me right at this moment. Yeah. But um, yeah. mm -hmm. what I'm saying is that I'm not really comfortable mm -hmm. doing any right, of those right. things. Can I, I know what we're doing? Right. right. Can I speak? So mm -hmm. so I take responsibility for not um, putting that on the agenda um i hadn't finished reviewing the tape of that meeting but at the end of the that meeting on may 23rd i i knew that it was being planned for very soon two weeks later june 6th before cultural chaos i really didn't think we would have time to get into like the big discussion. I really had initially planned that this meeting today just be about planning cultural chaos mm -hmm. and do other things, you know. So I um yeah. Okay. I mean that makes total sense. And I wasn't, you know, like mm -hmm. casting blame anywhere. I just mm -hmm. like I say, just mm -hmm. and I, you know, maybe what um and I'm also not suggesting that we could have solved all of that in one meeting too. Right. Right. You think right. they can help as Mary's, you mm -hmm. know, we've all talked about, you know, needing somebody mm -hmm. to help us with that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Although, you know, I don't know, Mary, you may or may not be aware, but um, mm -hmm. we did have a meeting with Derek Dean. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh, how many months ago was that? Um, when we were kind of really. Um, it was in November, I think. Yeah, struggling yeah. with. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm this stuff and like what were we really supposed to be all about and we had the quorum problems and all that and we invited him mm -hmm. to meet with us and it was very helpful but 
<laughs> but in fact, he kind of backpedaled. Right. He, um, yeah. I mean, you know, he was, he's always wonderful, but he did not, um, he, he kind of said, you know, just do some stuff and right. then people will come. Right. right. And so if we want him to help us do this thing where we're really like going through the different things on our ordinance and saying, you know, how exactly are we going to receive and review complaints of discrimination and where are those going to go and what's the procedure for that? Mm -hmm. And we need to be very explicit with him about, you know, that this is what the council is now asking us to do. Mm -hmm. And we need help to kind of figure out how we're going to do those things and what what do we need them to help us with, mm -hmm. et cetera. So mm -hmm. I think just maybe need to make a different kind of request to him than we did before. Maybe that was the issue is we didn't we weren't clear about what we were really right. needing at that point. I don't know. Right. But, um, right. I have to say that the idea of receiving and reviewing complaints at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, I am extremely leery of. Mm -hmm. I'm at number one, advise and make recommendations on community issues related to health safety. I mean, and number three, study the nature and causes of barriers. I think that what I would love to see, and it may be that I'm just so mm -hmm. new and all of the, I mean, everybody has an idea of this and I don't. Mm -hmm. But what I would love to see is a session where we say, these are our goals. I mean, mm -hmm. and I'm trained as a planner, so this is also the way I think. Mm -hmm. These are our goals, mm -hmm. and these are the strategies and tactics for meeting them, which is the stuff in the parking lot, so mm -hmm. that if we do a dialogue on race or we do difficult questions, we say, yes, this corresponds to this mm -hmm. item mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we're trying to achieve, and that's mm -hmm. also something that we can share with the public. So mm -hmm. the public knows where we're going. Mm -hmm. We're not just do-gooders trying to have good conversations or good activities, right. mm -hmm. but we're actually trying to build right. something. Right, right, yep. And if, you know, and I mm -hmm. wonder if Eric could help us do that, and if not, if mm -hmm. there's somebody else. Mm -hmm. So okay. I think I'd but like to see say. what I mean. Is this just me floundering around as the newcomer? Nope. No, I don't think so, but I think that um you see to some extent we had quite a training mm -hmm. you know a series of trainings with derek dean and there is a draft plan of action in the mm -hmm. folder i shared that that recites the meetings that derek attended okay mm -hmm. and in fact at, during last meeting Mm -hmm. When I was promising to put things in a folder, I also said I would reach out to Derek, which I did. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that I have to say is that we've got a committee now where a couple of us benefited from those trainings. And let me say then, during which we addressed those questions and he took an anonymous poll to prioritize which of these tasks we wanted to put on top. Right. Mm -hmm. And now we have a group and now we finally have a quorum, but mm -hmm. where, you know, half the active members didn't benefit from that mm -hmm. training. I also said to him, it's a different group. So how that that poll mm -hmm. comes out, how the vote comes out on mm -hmm. how we prioritize could mm -hmm. be completely different. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at, at something called a draft plan, but it's all about policing. There is a draft that has to do the the mayor's pledge group. That's about policing, but the draft plan of action with Derek Dean is about the five priorities that the committee at the time, the committee we had at the time, were choosing as priorities. Mm -hmm. Right. So I feel like really we don't Here's have this draft action draft uh, action plan mm -hmm. uh, from April of 2022, but it's basically about policing. Well, maybe if I stop sharing. Yeah, stop sharing that. Why don't you open the strategic? So that I can, yeah, so that I can look. Yeah. I'm, I, Until I'm, what time can we go officially? Tonight? Yeah. There's not, uh, I don't think we put a deadline. Okay. Unless we didn't. I mean, I would love to be done by 7.30 because I thought we were mainly going to discuss cultural chaos. Well, we do have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
is in the strategic planning sessions that folder oh it's different you were looking at the other thing i i saw what you're talking about mary it's a different folder i think strategic is, planning sessions oh i see there's, there's uh april 6th draft strategic planning session and then this uh, this both called the same thing there's r1 so under there's a couple of subfolders from the DOJ draft action plan, R1 draft East Hampton MA plan. And it starts number one purpose in an effort to build mutual cooperation toward fulfilling the purpose and mission of the community relations committee. Maybe you just need to put it up on the screen. I can share that screen. Sure. May I make a proposal given that yes. it's 705? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we, you mm -hmm. know, really that there's a lot of energy around this topic, you know, trying to figure out this big picture stuff. And um, mm -hmm. could we say, propose to, um, you know, we know, recognize that we need to do this mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. and kind of make that official. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We devote our next meeting to, I don't know, if that's appropriate or not, I don't know. It feels like there's so much time that goes between these meetings. <laughs> it's like so slow. But um, mm -hmm. what I was going to say was, um, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to entertain other solutions to this, but that we really devote our next meeting to figure out how is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. are we going to, um, mm -hmm. a, we make a plan to plan <laughs> because mm -hmm. uh, we don't even know, you know, how that's going to happen. Who do we need at the table? Mm -hmm. uh, you know who can facilitate that um mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff so really right. get into that as our main thing next meeting mm -hmm. and we make a commitment mm -hmm. to each one of us to now that uh, rebecca has so kindly put all this stuff in one place for us mm -hmm. really review everything that's kind of gone before mm -hmm. and um, make sure we're kind of familiar with it and then we can say okay you know here's what each one of us thinks we need right now. How how can we move forward with this? You know, we've got, you know, planners in our midst. We can <laughs> use these skills and just um, make a plan to create our our our, our plan. To do that, yeah. Make a plan to make a plan. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that's a good idea, and I would like to get back to our agenda. Yeah. So. I think it's a good idea too. And the fact of the matter is, is that it's already taken a while. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do it, we're we're likely to continue to flounder or just do actions that don't lead mm -hmm. to to the results we want. Mm -hmm. And if it just takes time, it takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What can we do? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we're volunteers who really can only meet once a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Okay. We'll also have to have on the agenda potentially talking about the citywide, um, you know, dialogue with the East Hampton Learning Foundation that I mentioned earlier during the announcements. So there may be more information that we'll have to discuss at that next meeting. Is there a date for that? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Because it would seem to me that that's one of the things that would come out of the, the plan. Mm -hmm. as to right. get along in parallel to it right right you know so there's really three things mm -hmm. that are are very pertinent it's mm -hmm. that one it's mm -hmm. the dialogue and race and it's the difficult discussions i mean mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but again if we don't have the superstructure we're going to end up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we're not going to be able to recruit people because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I mean, I'm definitely hanging in there. Mm -hmm. but I'm still wondering what I'm doing here. Right, right. You know yeah, I, mean? I hear you. <laughs> and I think anybody coming in now would feel that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. And maybe I'm here because of the three of you. No, we're just so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let's shift. The next thing on the agenda is cultural chaos, right? So um, we, uh, I, let's see if I can find it. Um, like I must admit that when I see 
a very boring table at a colorful, creative event like cultural chaos. I think, oh, how sad. I don't want to walk over to those people. Right? Like, like what are what are they gonna want to talk about? Like, like there's there's no purpose. Like, I don't see cookies I can have. Like, like what like I, I do feel like we may um like we may not get what we want necessarily if we have a table and we don't we don't really have yeah our our goal in mind um so i had thought maybe we should um you know make a big poster that is then somehow interactive um but of course we have very few days to make this um i thought we could have a big poster that says i love east hampton because of blank and then people can come up and write why they love East Hampton or East Hampton would feel more welcoming to me if blank. Of course, we might get some terrible responses there. Or I want to learn more about my East Hampton neighbors because blank. Or my neighbors come to me for blank. Like collect answers, have some sort of interaction, and then we would talk with them and introduce ourselves and just have conversations. Um, I'm concerned about some of the questions on the survey because they sort of get at that strategic plan that Derek Dean created for us. And here we are also trying to figure this out for ourselves. Um, you know, so anyway. Um, I haven't, you know, I haven't found out the rules about what we can provide because I haven't heard back. So I don't know that we can just hand out cookies at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's frustrating. They had to be, when we did it for Winterfest, I had the approval from the Board of Health and I, we were told they had to be individually packaged. And so we did that. And, um but um yeah may i ask a question yeah yeah why do you think we should be at cultural chaos right i know no no it's a question no i know i know it's a good question it's a very good question um I mean, because you seem reluctant mm -hmm. to go and reluctant not to go so is it that i mean is it important for us to be seen there Will we be noticed? Probably not. I know. We're not going to be noticed because we're not wearing stilts that are 12 feet tall. We're not handing out, you know, we could see cotton candy, you know, which, which Beth is handing out at Wonderland. For, and then for two of us actually have difficulty being there. Right. I know. You know, it could be. Mm -hmm. See, as we move forward, we may well like to be at uh, events and, you know, to be able to have a presence at all of these. But it may be that it's better not to kill ourselves for this one where we've got how many, four days? <laughs> uh, so it may really be better to say, well, maybe let's not do this one for this year because we're we have some good ideas but it's going to be hard to pull this off uh, maybe move forward and see if we can do some big picture things and then hopefully have an ability to be part of it and if i mean it's hard that we didn't have a response right so that we don't have the information on being included um, maybe we'll see how cultural chaos works things out after they've done what they do maybe we can get some literature well in advance or find out what the outcome is um, so that we can really do what we'd like to do the next year because i mean i think part of it is we do want to we want to be visible we want to connect with this community we want to do outreach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it might be sort of that, you know, there's a growth process here and we will 
we will achieve that, but maybe now isn't the time. What do the others think? Uh, let's see. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I have the same kind of ambivalence. Um, and uh, I think, you know, I mean, one part of me is like, we could keep it really simple and, you know, have two big jars and people put in, you know, I love this and I hate this, you know, <laughs> East Hampton or whatever. But then I was thinking and a lot of people are going to be from out of town attending this event. They're not even East Hampton residents, I think, that come to cultural chaos. And so we'd also have to ask them, do you even live in East Hampton? <laughs> you know, like, I love East Hampton because, oh, but I live in Amherst, you know, whatever. And um, so for our kinds of purposes, you know, is it really that important of a venue? It's good to have a presence. Um, I think, you know, maybe just speaking for myself, you know, partly hearing that, oh, you know, when the public says, oh, we, we have no idea what they're doing. We never see them anywhere, et cetera, you know. So, <laughs> like, okay, well, um, so maybe we're responding to that. But um, just to show up and, you know, not have a direction for it, yeah, it probably doesn't seem that important, especially given everything else that is important that we have to do. So, um, yeah, that's my thinking about it as far as I have gotten. And for change, I actually don't have an opinion. All I think is that if we go ahead, I can be there from 12 to 1, whatever it is. But I actually don't know why we would go and don't know why we wouldn't go. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I was thinking about was, you know, I mean, people, yeah, and again, this is kind of thin, but... Um, you know, one thing that we did really do is um, those two events this year, the film, which you organized mostly, um, Emily, and then the thing we did with the uh, reparations crowd. Um, and we could like put those flyers on the table to show we actually did something, but that seems kind of sad. <laughs> you know, it's nothing. nothing and I don't forget right. that I actually didn't know that we were part of the reparations thing. Yeah. Well, we aren't. Oh, yeah. That's right. We did. Yeah. And 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 one of the reasons I don't. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure that's all on us. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not all on us. You're right. Right. So yeah. Yeah, I know. Um. So it sounds like we're leaning toward maybe, you know, foregoing it. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is that what yeah. you're doing? No, Emily, it's hard to give up. I know. Oh, God. Well, don't give up. We will grow. It's just mm -hmm. no, no, not give up. Give up. Cultural yeah. This, mm -hmm. Just for this year. Mm -hmm. It's sort of ironic because, like, a year or two or three ago, we were like, let's have a table of cultural chaos. We were yeah. going to do that. Yeah. Did it happen? When then? we got a whole lot more members. No, it didn't. Because I don't know whether that was when COVID happened, and or and it was. You know, well, we had we had the T-shirts that said "Just do nothing." That was one of the problems, and the other mm -hmm. is that is that we had trouble getting to yes. In my opinion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. some things are hard to do because we. I mean, at this point, you know, if you look, we're only four people right now. <laughs> and so there are some things that are big tasks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we can reach it little by little. Mm -hmm. But but um, we mm -hmm. have had members who would really um, very mm -hmm. strongly say, oh, there's no way, you know, we're going to do this because mm -hmm. we're not sufficient because that. Da, da, da. But I'm just thinking getting to yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could help. Well, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about five years from now, we do our own event, mm -hmm. which is, this is East Hampton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is our event and we shape it and we turn out, we turn mm -hmm. out the whole town mm -hmm. and we turn out all the people that we really think represent who and what we are as a community. Mm -hmm. That is a goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it sounds fun. Uh-huh. Right. Right. So, and we'll develop all those relationships yeah. so mm-hmm. that people are included. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So I have a meeting right now. So I have, I've thought about, you know, we have the farmer's market every Sunday. So I do think we can have a table there at some point, you know. Yes. I was talking to Jen about having a table for something else mm-hmm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. And she said, no problem. Just write me mm-hmm. and one will have one. Mm-hmm. Who's Jen? She's the market manager. Okay. Jen, what's her last name? I don't know her last name, but okay. we just write to her at the address on the website. Okay. Okay. You know, or if you get the notices of, of uh-huh. what's, you just right. write to her and say, can we have a table next week? Right. Or the week yeah. after, whenever. Okay. And isn't that a wonderful idea? And then we can do our survey. Mm-hmm. Right. Just, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's uh, table cultural chaos, no con intended, um, for, the time being. Um, I need to take a quick break. So I'm going to pause and mute myself and turn off my video, but I'll be back in about two minutes. Okay. <laughs> sure. Unless we're actually ready to, to end our meeting. Do we have other agenda items that we need to? Well, well is there... there- there okay. are, and um, even though Emily's gone away, it's still recording unless we decide not to. Um, but there's probably too many things on here, and some are doubled by the um, parking lot. But I think the next meeting date and schedule of meetings is an important mm-hmm. one. Yeah. So that even if we say we're tired and we're done, still we should talk about... Um, next meeting dates and i so i think what were we saying the first tuesdays might be good for everybody except for the fourth of july that was the first monday oh oh i see no the first tuesday is the fourth i think that's a tuesday let's see what it is yeah it's a tuesday So the city seemed to think that on the first Tuesday of the month, the first first floor conference room is taken up, but we'd get the basement. Okay. That's better than nothing. Yes. Because we like to see everybody's beautiful face in person. Let's just uh, uh, fill Emily and we, we, Mm Uh, sorry, we we barreled ahead and went into talking about meeting schedule. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry. So, so that's number Is there twelve. Any way that we can see the city cal- calendar and just see what they're. Yeah, Rebecca checks that, don't you, Rebecca? Yes, but I would say you can generally see the city calendar, but let's say it's not over until i've asked the city clerk because oh, so there's no point really mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Yeah. it now appears to me that it's not a good idea to skip a month so then what would we do mm-hmm. well so we would pick some date in july mm-hmm. and there may or may not be a meeting room available for it mm-hmm. maybe you should find out when there's meeting rooms and then poll us i mean there's only four of us there will only be three other people to poll. Mm-hmm. So if you find out when there's an open date, mm-hmm. the week of July 4th, mm-hmm. my daughter is coming up from Florida for mm-hmm. that week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I can't do it. That not weekend. a good week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Although she has not yet given me her exact dates. What if we tentatively set July 11th? Um, does that work for everybody? That's the following Tuesday, just as a, you know, we keep first Tuesday as a regular, but mm-hmm. for July, we do the 11th, you know, do the, to the holiday. Mm-hmm. So, well, remember that, remember that the uh, second and fourth Tuesdays I can't do. Mm-hmm. All right. And I did forget that. Thank you. Right. So well, that that's means- right. I'm here to remind you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somebody else want to 
propose. What about what about Monday? That well, again, we should see what meeting rooms are available, because and then see who's available on on those dates. Well, um, Mary, you you can't do the second, third, or fourth Tuesday of the month, right? I can't do the second or the fourth. Oh, I thought it was also the third, but okay, okay. Um, so what about Monday the 10th? Actually, you're right. I can't do the third. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That's what I wrote down. It seems to be difficult. Yeah. Tuesday seems to be popular. Monday the 10th in principle works for me. Okay. Monday the 10th works for me too. There's a meeting. I have another meeting there mm -hmm. then, and I don't have to go to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I should say that I have a tentative, like kind of big interference thing that may be happening in the first couple of weeks of July, but I don't know yet if it's going to happen. It has to do with somebody coming from overseas and I don't know if they're going to get their visa. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's all floating around, but mm -hmm. I, I will say that for now I'm available on July 10th. Yeah. So why don't we say July 10th and then try for um, August You 1st. know what? Yeah, I think I'd better say no. You know, that's a religious holiday for me, July 10th. Oh. Right? Okay. And I'm probably going to be invited to, that's a, a midday kind of a, a, an anniversary. So July, yeah, I was trying, yeah, that's not good for me. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, um, again, why don't you, why don't you take a look at the calendar and then just well, put some dates? I will say that calendar can be a moving target. Um, I think we need to figure out when we're free and then. How you, can any of you do Wednesday, Wednesday like such as Wednesday the 12th? I cannot like, do that. No. Okay. I mean, ordinarily, I sometimes I can, but not that particular. Mm -hmm. Horror of horrors. What do people think of Fridays? <laughs> it works. Um, actually i think a lot of people don't like fridays which is a good sign for getting um getting meeting rooms honestly if you don't mind a friday in july i can probably do that but you i know, don't friday know the 14th at six o'clock uh, by seven i mean by seven seven thirty there's still plenty to go to mm -hmm. we can still go out and party after that <laughs> Would that be fun? So is that okay, July 14th, Friday at 6? Do we have to worry about the city building being closed on Fridays? Or no? It's not? Yeah, probably. I think we did a Friday once before, didn't we? Or I remember talking to Barbara about that. Maybe I can ask whether I'll need a key. Or how that works um it's true that the city's closed on a friday but um mm -hmm. i just think that's a good question to ask because um, mm -hmm. well i just okay. think it's terrible here we finally have a quorum and we can come up with meeting day well, part of it is because of <laughs> this prop this tuesday problem july well the july 4th only yeah. the third tuesday of the month and the second and the fourth yeah right. well if the first can work then mm -hmm. we could reserve that for for everything beginning august mm -hmm. and and have uh the basement meeting room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i take a claim to it unless there's some closet somewhere that we could claim it's ours <laughs> well you know there's this mm -hmm. little room next to the city council but but that doesn't really work because we don't get to use that uh you know the multiple recording systems let's just say that i mean these last times i've turned on two cameras mm -hmm. you know the google meet recording and the room mm -hmm. yeah, but, but, but we we're not using two cameras tonight and it's just fine mm -hmm. uh, yeah i mean anywhere we can we can Mm -hmm. spot with google me mm -hmm. yeah so okay so back to july 14th do we want to try for that 
Uh, it's not ideal for me, but I'll, and not because it's a Friday, but I'm going to be um, actually not, not living in East Hampton for a month, July 15th to August 15th. Oh. Um, so that night I'll be preparing to go, but I, I will try to make a commitment to it. That's a really bad night then before you leave for a Well, month. I mean, you know, it doesn't seem like there's any other options. And if she yeah. then leaves, then you're not around until you get back, right? Well, I, I can participate um, virtually. What about, about so, so Thursday the 6th was out, Thursday the 13th is out. What about Monday the 17th? That's bad for me. Okay. It's a child's birthday. Yeah. So um, Thursday. Thursday's not bad for me, but Thursday the 13th is going to be art walk, right? Right. Um, I mean. Let's do the 14th. Let's do the 14th. Let's stick with it. Okay. 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 July 14th. Of course, we can't invite any uh, city councilors who won't want to work on, not necessarily on, on a Friday night. But, 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 but we have work to do, and, yeah. and we don't, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a plan, and we have work to do. Are we calling it a work session? Yeah. What's that mean? Well, keep in mind, so a work session, it's less formal, let's say. Usually, we have just a broad agenda item to discuss. Mm -hmm generally maybe to discuss the organization of committee mm -hmm. generally during a work session we can't vote on anything so we wouldn't be able to approve minutes mm -hmm. um, i don't think we should do a work session then okay then. okay not work session okay yeah but we can still basically organize our meeting that way can't we right. I mean, yes. yeah. yeah yeah so we would have roll call announcements public speak approval mm -hmm. of minutes and then just to vote the rest of the meeting to our Mm -hmm. plan mm -hmm. yeah we could write the agenda that way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay it's just it's bestial day and my half birthday and i usually always wow. i always promise that i'm going to celebrate it in july because january 14th is a terrible time to have a birthday because it's right it's out. as bad as january 1st which is the pits yeah <laughs> that is bad yes. okay. That's really bad. Yeah. Wait, when is yours, Emily? Did you say? Well, my birthday is January 14th, which is um, uh, just it's right after Christmas. Everyone's burnt out and everyone's sick. <laughs> so they've gotten sick over the holidays. Yeah. Do you Many celebrate it on July 14th? I usually try to, but. Oh, no, then we shouldn't do that day. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can, I can go out after. Yeah. Not that I'm going to go out anywhere anyway. <laughs> I'll find a place to go dancing after that. Yeah, yeah there you go. Mm -hmm. It's Bastille Day. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a plan. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's not going to be any fighting over the rooms for July 14th. Right. Yeah, let's, let's get this. Let's just see. I expect not. Right. I just remember Barbara like, uh, can we were meeting maybe remotely on a Friday and she was like, ah, oh, you know, nobody wants to do anything on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. But I'll I'll ask them. So I'll so I can't promise you that it's available, but I will ask them. Mm -hmm. And we are also saying that our regular mm -hmm. meeting will be the first mm -hmm. Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. And so I can, can get that basement reserved for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was one time they, you might remember, they bumped us maybe from the first floor to the second floor. But if they try to bump us out, then we can start complaining. Mm -hmm. yeah, because, who, who, yeah. who has the right to bump us? What meetings have the right to bump us? Uh, committees of the city council. Mm -hmm. Yes, but other than that? No, not other than that, but that's who. Mm -hmm. And of course, the city council does want us to be able to function. So, so I'm sure. So, so they don't want they to will be supportive. Yeah, yeah. And was wasn't the um wasn't there supposed to be a meeting room in the fire station or police department next door if there was an, a need for overflow? Like the police the department does have a community meeting room. Right, it really does. Right. They they like expect. 
I believe they, they have a meeting room that's off the lobby, but they also have further meetings that's past where you get the dispatcher to let you in. Mm -hmm. um, there was like the, the community meeting room. You have to go in and it might even, and it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, years ago, we used to use it for meetings of a community group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, years and years ago. But do we have and, and I remember in a recent city council, they were just bringing up the fact that they are going to re-equip it. Right, exactly. I remember hearing that. Right. So we need to find out if it's equipped. But also we can bump one of the other committees over there if we want to have it in our city building, our meeting, right? Well, you know, there was a time. So I met with the mayor a year ago, summer, right? And the kind of said that we had a bit of a challenge with the room mm -hmm. and she instructed me to let her assistant Lindsay know mm -hmm. now I don't know that Lindsay really had a meeting of the minds with the mayor but if I need to mm -hmm. or if we need to we could mm -hmm. uh, I could reach out again and say you know mm -hmm. we've got some and let Wait, me say 35 yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, just uh let May I ask people, just as a mm -hmm. reminder, you know, to prepare for next meeting by going through all these wonderful files in the folder that uh, Rebecca has put up, just to review our history and um, mm -hmm. if there are any additional minutes posted mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. review that we look at mm -hmm. them at the time and then we'll all come into the meeting prepared. I'd also okay. like to see us like, you know, this be a kind of a flip chart paper and markers kind of meeting, you know, like, mm -hmm. like ready to kind of you know draw mm -hmm. pictures and figure out what we want to do um and um i don't know if any of you has flip chart but i could probably i think i might have awesome. i don't have a flip chart i like whiteboards but um i actually I have, have a flip chart. chart let's see you do okay okay what if i start a new whiteboard i don't know is there a whiteboard in that room in the basement a physical whiteboard there might be number one but. Yeah. okay anyway okay yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm sort of looking at google meet which is talking mm -hmm. a little bit about whiteboarding but uh, it's confusing to me right now you know zoom has a whiteboard that you can share mm -hmm. yeah right there online but um, it's very different though than like physically getting your mm -hmm. hands dirty that's on. true that's true <laughs> yeah. we can I'm, all I'm much better at using real hands real pens yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I put a note to myself to remember my flip chart. Okay. Thank you, and I'll I'll bring some markers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okay. So, um, um, someone else make a motion to end this meeting, or can I do that? I move to end, end this meeting. Okay, Mary moved, and I will second it. Okay, great. Okay, so. I'm taking a vote to end this meeting. Mary and Sarah? Yes. Rebecca Plaza? Yes. Jan Norman? Marlo Solomon? Yes. And Emily Britton, that's me, yes. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.